Well, hi, good afternoon. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely ready for summer. The reason why is because this pool behind me looks mighty inviting. I'll step out of the way so that you can take a look at what's happening right here. What you're looking at are lifeguards in training. There is a shortage of them this summer. So the city wants to see a lot more people training to be lifeguards this summer. And in order to entice people to go for the job, they're getting creative. Beautiful job. Before you dive into the summer, Philly leaders want you to be a lifeguard. The city of Philadelphia has 68 public pools and leaders want to open all of them, but it needs more guards. Right now the city has 185, but it needs 200 more. If we don't get enough life parts, we can't open enough pools. That's the bottom line, and uh, that would be a terrible thing to happen. To up the ante, the city is offering some goodies, like more money. We're um, just north of $15 an hour, so we think that's a great pay for uh, a young person to come out and have a summer job. <laughs> so if you're interested, first you have to pass a screening. One, two, three. Council members Bobby Heenan and Isaiah Thomas showed us how. You dive into a pool, grab a brick, and then swim back to the edge of the pool. If people from city council could go in and do this, anybody could do it. But it hasn't been so easy, and you can blame COVID for that. The city says it started recruiting late because of COVID restrictions. And the other thing is, not as many people have been passing the screening. They're out of practice. Remember, public pools were closed last year. But if you're out of shape, Veronica Rafella has some encouragement. As soon as you get like two like laps or something, muscle memory comes and kicks in. Veronica wants people to jump in. She says lifeguarding is a great way to give back to the community. You've helped a lot of people, like you kept them safe, and it's a, an important job. You know, people don't realize that lifeguards are needed. And definitely one that you need to prepare for. So after you go for the screening, you then need to be certified by the Red Cross. And that's a course that costs about $110. And the city says that here's another goodie. It's willing to pay for that in some cases in order to get more lifeguards so that they don't have to pay for that course out of their own pocket. We're live here in Port Richmond. Stefania Jimenez, NBC 10 News.